Alright guys, yeah, S Mosquito here. Yeah, this is um yeah, just like a show to show you my uh, groovy meme setup basically. Cause a couple of people have asked about it and um yeah, this isn't gonna be a you know like a full install from you know from a jammer cabinet to, to groovy meme. This is just basically to show you how I got it set up. Um yeah, because well for the past like year, year and a half or eighteen months I've been using emulation, my replays. So my first few re my first few games I did like Strider, uh, Shinobi, Air Type, Dai Makamura, uh, Tetris Grand Master. All those were done on the um, on the PCB. And then a couple of years ago, when I went to uh, play Expo, I was playing on Pete's uh, Versus City cabinets, playing Super Turbo, and I was on there for about an hour. And all of a sudden, the uh, the meme config menu came up, and I, I didn't even know I was playing on meme. So I thought, oh yeah, this looks good. So as soon as I got home, I uh, got on Jammer Plus and you know, f followed a guide on there, got it all set up. And it I, I was it was okay, but the thing is, with games are scrolling, I didn't notice it so much on Super Turbo. But games like, say, Pac-Land, The Wonder Boy, and, you know, any, well, anything scrolling, really. It, um, yeah, you had that horrible meme tearing. And then I looked into it a bit more, and then I found out about Groovy Meme and the CRT emu drivers. And from then on, I was just sold. And uh, basically, I sold all my PCBs, well, apart from Shinobi and Tetris. But um, yeah, it's it's really easy as well because I I don't regret doing it because I had loads of PCBs and I insisted on it. And but when meme set up um, correctly, it is it is no different. But anyway, there's my PC there. I got that for eBay for hundred pounds, and it's got um, what was it? A Radeon. ATI graphics card in there. I can't remember which one now. But yeah, it was basically twenty pounds delivered or twenty five pounds delivered. Uh so yeah, basically the PC setup was like hundred and twenty five pounds. And then you need a J pack as well, which I'll I'll show you now. But um yeah, and you need an amplifier. But yeah, basically I just I just set up that right, like, yeah. That that's that there. Um I know some people make make the um the motherboards inside the yeah, bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> they mount it on the uh, PCB, on the PCB pull-up piece of wood, so it's all tidy. But I, I can't be asked. I just want to bloody put it in and play. And it doesn't look the greatest setup. It's been messy, to be honest. But um, yeah, so inside the cabinet, right? It's all still jammer compatible. And if you look there, this is very, very safely done. Obviously, there's the J pack there. Yes, basically all my money all, all together. It was hundred and twenty pound for that. The ROMs, yeah, free. Uh, the keyboard came with it and everything. And J packs about sixty five quid, I think. And you need an amplifier as well, so you can use the speakers on Astro City. Otherwise, without this, the sound will come through the well, the PC basically is a bit crap. But um, yeah, it's all wired into there. I did have to make a hole to put the wires from the PC into here. Let me get my torch a second. I did actually, it's been naughty. I drilled I drilled a hole at the back of the cabinet. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to hold the iPad here. If you look at the top of there, see at the top I drilled a hole, that's where all the, all the wires come through. It's a bit crude, but if you look at the back, you can't see it because it's going, the hole's like, you know, vertical. But yeah, all the wires come in. Basically, all the wires coming from the PC. I uh, got the VJ one there on the left, and the purple one is the mouse. You need that to like move around XP and stuff. And that black one there goes to the USB on the back of the PC, and that basically powers the the J pack there. And it's really good this um, this J pack, right? Because with the um with the buttons to wire in the extra buttons, see all these like terminals. Let me point. Yeah, those terminals there, they're the buttons. So basically, all those but all those wires there. So like basically, um, like um, all the kick buttons for player one, kick buttons for player two, and they go up here, up there. Where's the wire? Yeah, they come up here somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they come. Yeah, yeah, it comes up there, and I just, I just joined them on then, onto the buttons. 
and the amplifier as well. I was a bit worried about that because I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to bloody, I'm gonna have to cut all the wires from the speakers. But on the um, on the J pack on the right here, there's a uh, terminal blocks which white which which basically uh, branch off the uh, the speaker the speaker wires. So they go up there and just go into the amplifier. And yeah, you need 12 volts for this as well. And I just branched that off the off the power supply from the jammer. I did have to chop that myself actually. Yeah, so like I said, this isn't the best kite. <laughs> but uh yeah, that's basically it. It didn't take me long to do either, just basically well, I don't know, about 20 minutes, half hour, just to wire all that up. It looks worse than it is. But yeah, look at the state of this cabinet. I need to uh yeah, this cabinet has been pretty much demolished. I've I've taken a lot of stuff out of it. Like a lot of people, they set it up so you can play, you can put coins in. But I just ripped all that stuff out. So if you look in there, it's all gone. Because so I was storing stuff in there at one point, and I, I, yeah, it was getting in the way. Yeah, so that's my coin slot. Uh, yeah, there's my uh, coin mechanism there. And yeah, this the the, um, the credit count on this arcade machine is quite high. These aren't all me mines. They go nine 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 eight two two. That's disabled now, but um, I swear there wasn't me. But oh, look at that! Look at that rust on there. I need to sort this out. <laughs> but yeah, that's the basic the wiring setup. A very detailed uh, explanation. But yeah, I need to sort this out really. I need to get that that PCB that um, that board there, the wood, and just screw this to it properly. I mean, that's like a fire hazard, I think, isn't it? But yeah. Anyway, that's the. Uh, the detailed wiring um, explanation. Um, oh, I can't get close enough and view this. Yeah, well, basically, I haven't got a front end on my uh, on my com on my uh, computer when it boots up. Basically, I just use a keyboard and keyboard and mouse. So yeah, on my desktop now. Oh, I can't hold this iPad. Wait a sec. There we go. Yeah, basically, on my desktop here, I've got. Yeah, I use a front end called uh, Maximus Arcade because there's other ones like oh, what is it like Hyperspin and Games EX, uh, loads of other ones. But yeah, they're all I find they're too over the top. There's too much you know crap going on in the background. There's like all sound effects going off, and I just wanted something really simple that would just go through the alphabet. You know, there's there's no genres or anything. It's just like a to Z, all games. So yeah, basically, I'll show you this now. Uh, yeah, so I'm using the mouse here. It's not the best setup, but yeah, there you go. I double click that. It does all emulators. This does. It does um, like all the console ones and everything. Well, I just use it for meme, really. Yep. There we go. Right, sorry, this isn't the best way to do this. Right, yeah, anyway, that's that's what you presented with. And you go left and right. Sorry, this is way too zoom, zoomed in, isn't it? Yeah, you go left and right to choose different emulators. You've got to set all those up. I haven't set those up. Basically, I just got meme. And then you just go inside. And there you go. That's the last game I was playing. Um, yeah, basically, I've got this set up quite good. So I'd say I wanted to find Shinobi, right? I could do it quite quick because on here... Hey, let's focus now. On here, I've got this setup as going up the alphabet. This down the alphabet, so it goes, you know, say that's an A now, we go B, C, D, E, F, G. And then I've got this, I go left and right, and it'll go down a page. I say don't it go to P, press right, there you go, it goes down an entire page. Or if I press up and down, it goes down singly. So say, I can find things quite quick on this. So say I wanted to find, I don't know, Gradius, right? I just use these two. And I just keep, you know, hold it, go to G, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then press right on the stick. Let's go to the ads. There you go, all the Gradius games. Yeah, see, I haven't got to go up and down all the time, so it's, it's quick, you just go, say like I wanted to find Shinobi now. Got my nails are dirty, aren't they? 
Sorry. <laughs> I'm a locksmith, I get uh, ugly hands. Yeah, so Shinobi now. Uh, there you go, S. Right a couple of times, go to H. Uh, see how quick this is? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's all the Shinobi games there then. And then it's quite good as well, because to get out of this emulator now, I don't need the keyboard as such. As soon as I've started this, I can just chuck the keyboard away. And then to close the emulator, hold medium kick, a couple of seconds, goes out. But yeah, I'll show you it booting up a game now. Let's have a click that. But yeah, I did try get, um hyperspin at first, but it was just so noisy. It was just Every time you changed the game, it had all the sound effects of videos playing. Oh, it drove me nuts. Because it would be handy to have different genres, you know, like all platform games together. But when I when I want to play a game, I, I pretty much decide what I want to play before I even go on the arcade machine. I just think, oh yeah, I'll play that, and I, I just find it. I don't really, I don't really just play random games. I always pick a game specifically. But yeah, like say I want to play Shinobi now. No, not Shinobi. That's an obvious one, isn't it? I do a random one. No, that's not random enough, is it? Uh. Right, let's, let's do uh, Nam 1975. So yeah, so highlight that, press weak punch. Any second now. There you go, all boots up. I can get rid of that screen, but I leave it there. But yeah, if you look now, it's all it's got the exact resolution Son of, of the uh, actual PCB. So now and again, if you look now, I, got, I might have to adjust the screen, but because I've got it here, it's, it's easy enough, I can just adjust the screen. But yeah, basically, you have to adjust every game, because if it, would, if it did hardware stretching like most of the main setups, it's full screen on every game, because this is the exact resolution of the PCB, it, you basically you've got to change the, um, the screen size as you would a real PCB, which is, which is good in a way, because you know it's, you know, it's proper. But yeah, there you go. And if you want to put credits on, you don't need the keyboard or mouse, you just hold player one and press weak punch. You get credits. And if you want to change the game, just hold player two and press player one. And it goes back to the, uh, there you go, goes back to the main screen and you choose your next game. But yeah, I'd say what guys, I wouldn't be without this anymore because... Yeah, I saved so much money from PCP, so I've done loads of replays since I sold my games now, and I'm after ones I wouldn't have been able to do, because, well, they're, they're too expensive, aren't they, these days? But, um, yeah, there you go, it's not the most comprehensive setup, uh, well, explanation, like I said. But, yeah, but it, it's it's good having a setup like, with the PC, you know, in in XP, because if I had it booting up directly into this, I couldn't do a lot of other, th other things. Because on this as well, equally, I play GGPO, like online Street Fighter. And like without that, I couldn't, you know, if I booted up straight into a, a Maximus Arcade, I couldn't do this. But yeah, you know, I can play Street Fighter online, play all people from around the world. Yeah, that's amazing, that is. And, alright guys, yeah, sorry about that, my phone rang again. And, uh, yeah. Um... Well, yeah, there you go. There's my uh, Groove Meme setup. It wasn't the most detailed, most advanced, in-depth uh, guide you're ever going to get. But, yeah, just basically, basic overview. PC, JPAC, uh, custom, graphics card, 20-odd quid, and amplifier, which is basically, I think it was like £7 delivered. Something ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I thoroughly recommend it. I mean, I, I wouldn't be play half the amount of games I do if I didn't have that, because PCBs are just too expensive and break all the time, don't they? But yeah, I, I tell you what, guys, it, it is the best um, best thing I've ever bought game-wise is is doing that groovy meme setup. Because like as growing up, back is my favourite games, and it all well favourite genre well way to play games. And basically, with this, you just got every game I've ever played in the arcades. Uh, yeah, all for free basically. It it seems too good to be real, so you know. Too good to be true, should I say. But, uh, yeah, it's amazing. But, yeah, there you go, guys. If uh, Any questions, just send me a PM or a message. 
But um, yeah, there you go, guys. Ta-da.